Hey guys, this is Ant from Games to Find, and in this video I'm going to be talking about wireframe. So rendering with wireframe is a way of showing your model's topology as well as the model itself so you don't lose any important details. So if rendering with wireframe is especially important for anyone who wants to get into the gaming industry because companies are going to want to see the topology of your model and that way you're able to show the poly count is low enough to be able to run smoothly in their gaming engines which is a big big factor in gaming assets such as characters and you know your other models in the scene so to get started I'm going to create a plane this is not important at all but you know it just gives us something to put the model on I'm just going to change this colour to grey, grey will do. Okay, now I'll just maximize this. Just want to make this big enough. There we go. That should do. Yep, that's fine. And then we want to create a model. We'll just use a teapot for now because that's got a load of segments. And we'll just, oops, wrong one. We'll just turn this around a bit. This should do fine. Nope, wrong one. We wanna just move this. There we go. That that should be alright. That should be alright. Okay, so we're gonna do this two ways. It's up to you which way you decide is better. I prefer the second way, but I'll just go through both anyway. So we're gonna do the first thing we're gonna do is just create a colour, the base colour. I'll just make this something like red. That's not red. There we go. No, wrong thing. I want to use a new material. In fact, we'll make this orange. There we go. And just apply that to this. And then we'll make another material and click wire. We just change this to black so it stands out a bit more. And then we want to do is just press come up to where is it on here no we'll just do it a different way we'll just control V which makes a copy of the teapot and we'll just rename this wire and then drag no we'll just click the wire in there and then assign material to selection so if we just render this now it doesn't show anything in fact we'll just go back into this just to make this two sided and then to show the wireframe a bit more, what I want to do is come into the modify panel, go to the modify list and look for something called push. Just press this and just push out one. In fact that's a bit too much. Make it so sort of like point two and then we'll give this a render. There we go. It's showing the wireframe a bit more. Now although this is pretty easy, there are some bad things about it so if you've got none of these selected and you want to make this one whole object you can either select both control A and then just group them together but if we do that then you'll have to just you know open the group and change the base color separately or or the wire material and if you want to select just one it could you know turn out pretty hard like this one's pretty easy because it's pushed right out but if I just see what I mean I can't I'm gonna have to really try see I've only just selected that and that wasn't that easy so we're gonna do it the much easier way in my opinion we're just gonna drag so just select the wire if I can here we go and just delete that and then come into the new material coming to a new material and firstly we want to change the render the renderer to mental ray so we just open up render setup press F10 or we're going to render ring tab and render setup and we'll just scroll down to the bottom click assign renderer and change this to mental ray cross that off and then come into standard on a new material We'll just name this joint wire base. 
Okay, so click standard and then we want we're looking for composite. Here we go in standard and then click composite. Just uh, discard the own material. Okay, so first thing we want is the base. So you can just drag this down into here. Or if you haven't got this option, just click none and then look for standard here under the standard menu. Here you go, just click that, we'll create a base colour. We'll make it more of a dark orange. And then go back to parent in the second material. We'll click standard. And then we'll click wire. And change that to black. And there you go, if we just drag this on. And it will show invisible in the viewport but if you just render this here we go it will show it properly this may take some time in fact we'll just cancel this because I need to make this two sided so if we just come back to the parent click standard we'll rename this base color click two sided and then go we'll just cross this off go back to parent and rename this wire if I could spell there we go and then we'll just re-render this okay so now that's fully rendered you can see it's uh, it looks no different but it's a it's just a lot easier a lot more convenient so if you want to just change any of these properties of the wire so if we go into the wire and just change extended come into extended parameters and change the y size we'll just have it at something like two for now and if we re-render that as you can see it's a lot thick well it's not really a lot thicker but it's thicker than it was although i don't know why you'd have it you know thicker than two i'll just do a render i won't do a full render something like 10 nope that looks pretty high we'll just we'll try six okay, that there you go it is a lot thicker actually although it depends it it, it looks all right as a cartoon effect but we're just not going to do that for now we'll just cancel this change it back to two just re-render this out there we go we have a nice render well it, it could be better with lights but we'll just leave this at as it is for now for this video we have a nice render which shows the topology of the model which in this case is not very highly detailed if we want to change this in fact if we just hit come into the teapot and just change the segments to something like 13 and give this another render I'll just skip this to the end here we go, we've got another render which is quite high poly which uh, I'm sure someone in the gaming industry would refuse this because it does look very highly detailed something which is not really needed so we'll just cross that off, we'll just turn this back down to 4 not that we need it but there we go we'll just open up the render frame window again in fact we'll just cross that off but yeah, there we go, that's it for this tutorial. I'll just make another render while I'm finishing up. That's it for this tutorial. I hope you learned something. It's not too advanced, so you know, you should be good with this. If you have any questions, then just, just leave a comment and uh, we'll answer you. Thanks for watching and until next time.